Note, this episode assumes you've seen the episodes on the existence of God and the truth of Catholicism. Please check the directory in the video description if you haven't watched those yet. Hey, welcome back to Clean Cut, where we can talk about the truth about just about anything, as long as we use logic and common sense. This season we're talking about the existence and nature of God. Now, because God is infinite, and we're not, we can't ever come to a full understanding of his nature, but we can at least learn a few things about it. Today, can a created being ever be like God? Some people think that two things can't be alike unless they can be put in the same category, and God essentially defies categorization. Some think that things can't be alike unless they have similar forms, and God's form is distinctly different from that of any creature. However, the problem with both of these claims is that likeness means a lot more than just that. The truth is, likeness can mean a lot of different things depending on the context in which the word is used. Really, any time two things are similar in any sense, they're alike in that sense. So, if God and a created being ever have any similarities, they can be like one another. In that regard, we can think of a lot of general things that we have in common with God, beginning with our existence, which makes all things like God in some respects. People have even more in common with God, since they also possess life, intelligence, and free will. Through intelligence, they gain knowledge. Through free will, they can exercise power over the world. God also gives us many other likenesses apart from just these, such as being morally significant and having a certain degree of authority and certain rights. All of those are things which, in general, we have in common with God, so all of them are likenesses. The curveball is that in every last one of these things, we are greatly inferior to God. Therefore, we don't often think of these as likenesses. Some of us might even be tempted to think that the difference between the limitless existence of God and our own limited existence is as great as the difference between us and nothingness. Certainly, there is a great difference, but not quite as great as the difference between existence and non-existence. Existence and non-existence have nothing in common, and as we've been discussing, we do have certain things in common with God. So, we can be like God, at least in certain ways. Next, I thought we'd start up a new season to discuss a topic that we've touched on briefly before, the works of mercy. That's all for now, so keep asking questions, and thanks for watching.